All right, ladies and gentlemen, section 2.4, write equations of lines. Number 14, find the equation of the line passing through the point negative 6, negative 2 with a slope of 2 thirds. Start by using the point slope form, then change it to slope intercept form. All right, so point slope form, we've got y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. All right, so this would be my x1, this would be my y1. And here's the slope. All right, so I'm going to go y minus negative 2 equals 2 thirds times x minus negative 6. All right, well, we can change a couple signs. That'll be y plus 2, and this will be x plus 6. All right, let's do the distributive property. So we've got y plus 2 equals 2 thirds x, and 2 thirds times 6 is plus 4. Okay, the last step, subtract 2 from both sides. And so our final result is y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. All right, number 15. So here is x1, here is y1, and here is the slope. All right, let's plug it in. So we've got y minus 7 equals negative 4 times x minus negative 3. In this one, we only change one sign. That will be right here. All right, now we're going to distribute. So negative 4x looks like it's minus 12. All right, one step left. We're going to add that 7 to both sides. And so we end up with y equals negative 4x minus 5. All right, number 16. This time we're given two ordered pairs. So we've got an x1, we've got a y1, we've got x2, and we got y2. So the first thing we're going to have to do on this one is find the slope. All right, so y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay, a couple signs to change. So it looks like the numerator is 9 and the denominator is 6. Reduce that, and that's 3 over 2. Okay, so there's our slope. Now I'm going to use the formula. All right, and I'm going to use the first ordered pair. You can certainly use the second ordered pair. It does not matter which ordered pair you pick. I'm going to use the first one. So I'm going to use this one. All right, here we go. So y minus negative 6 equals 3 over 2 times x minus negative 2. Looks like we've got a couple of signs to change. All right, now just like 14 and 15, we're going to distribute. And 3 over 2, 3 halves times 2, I believe that becomes 3. And then the last thing, we're going to subtract 6. And so we end up with y equals, oops, forgot the x in there, y equals 3 over 2x minus Okay, number 17, same thing. Let's find the slope. 
So let's see, 4 minus 4, interesting, divided by negative 2 minus 3. So it looks like we got 0 over negative 5, which is 0. Okay, well, if I follow the formula I have, and I'm going to use the first ordered pair again, so I'm going to go y minus 4 equals 0 times x minus 3. Well, we know that 0 times anything is 0. Okay, now we need to get the y by itself, so we're going to add 4. So we end up with y equals 4. That's it. It's a horizontal line, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, look. Both the y values are 4. So if you can visualize that in your head, oh, that's going to be horizontal. All right, let's go to the next page. Let's go to number 18. Determine the x and y intercept for the following linear equation in standard form. Intercepts are points. Use correct notation. Okay, that means we have to use ordered pairs. Okay, use correct notation. All right, so this is what we did when we graphed earlier in uh, section 2.2. Uh, we're going to just use the cover-up method. So we've got, we set 3x equal to 18, divide by 3, and we get x equals 6. So that is going to be written as 6, 0, because that's the x-intercept. Okay, then the y, we got negative 2y equals 18, divide by negative 2, so we get y equals negative 9, okay, and that as an ordered pair is 0, negative 9. Okay, same thing with number 19. Again, use correct notation, so that might, means we're going to use an ordered pair. All right, so negative 2x equals 15. Divide by negative 2. And we are going to end up with a decimal on this one. We're going to end up with negative 7.5. So negative 7.5, 0. 5y equals 15. Divide by 5. And we end up with y equals 3. So that would be 0, 3. Okay, don't get those mixed up. Number 20, for the first time customers, a bank will open an account with $25 included. This bank also charges a monthly $2.95 service fee on the account. All right, so $25 service fee on the account. Write an equation that shows the balance Y after X months assuming no other activity is made on the account. All right, so I believe that's going to be y equals. Now, it's a fee. A fee means it's going to be taken out. So we're going to take out $2.95 each month. So that's what, gets, uh, that's what goes with x. So $2.95 each month, that's a fee. But they're giving you $25. Okay, so you open an account that gave you $25 bucks and they're going to charge you $2.95 a month to have it. All right, so let's see, that goes over here, negative $2.95x plus 25. All right, what's next? Find the balance in the account after eight months. Okay, so well, all we need to do is plug in the 8. Let's type that in and see what we get.
Wow, we're going to be left with a whole dollar forty, according to my calculations. So we're left with a dollar forty. All right. All right, last one, number 21 for section 2.4. Jorge owes his sister Claudia $500, which she loaned him to buy a bicycle. He plans on paying her back $50 each month. All right, write an equation that shows why, the amount why, Jorge will owe Claudia after X months. Okay, so that would be Y equals negative 500 because he is paying her back and he borrowed $500. Okay, so y equals negative 50x plus 500. All right, so I'll plug the six in. And let's see, we're going to be left with $200. All right, that is it for section 2.4.